everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Doki Bird made a cameo in Lily Pichu's news music video. As you remember, Last Cup of Coffee was the one that she got in trouble for last time, and it was a Lily Pichu song that they had gotten full perms for and Lily Pichu's okay with. She was okay with this. So right now, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking a look at Lily Pichu's thing and showing it to you guys in its totality of Doki Bird kind of getting a bit of revenge. Uh, it's not that negative type of revenge, but the best type of revenge that anyone can have is doing well and being happy. That is the revenge. She's not the type of person to go for revenge, like the actual aggressive revenge, but this is the best revenge she could ever get against Niti Sanji for what they did. Hey, look, the same person that you said you never got perms with now is doing a music video with me. You know, that type of thing. So let's listen in on to what uh, she's doing. Lily Pichu for herself, and here you go. Two minutes and 55 seconds. And there it goes, you know, people dancing, having fun. People having fun with everything. She's just showing everything here, and of course, um, further, like I mentioned, further things in regards to everything that she's been able to do. Uh, she's going to get a cameo around here. I believe the cameo is going to be showing up soon. I'm trying to find it for you guys. It goes Everything goes full circle. Everything goes full circle on everything that, that was done. More stuff, more people dancing, more people having fun. VTubers in there again. There you go. Doki Bird having a little moment. She's just, it's right here. This little part right here. It's always good to, to see a little bit of Doki Bird in here. There you go. Doki Bird having a little bit of fun and getting her little bit of, you know, it's it's a a homage to, well, Doki Bird, I'm guessing in the whole situation. It all, it's all friends of, of uh, Lily Pichu. It's all friends of, you know, the performer and everything that's going on. It is great. It's great to see Doki Bird in there. She got a little cameo as well as a lot of people else also did. And, um, you know, from covering one of her songs to appearing in one of her songs, that's in the and advancement full circle moment nice to see this relationship between lily and doki continue despite the niji screwing the latter over the last cup of coffee cover due to managerial incompetence among other factors altera and shoto in the video wall as well also with lie malicious i adore that girl she has one of the best models out there so glad matara put me onto her sparks joy um that's awesome it's really great thing i wonder if uh many possible cameos could happen in the future new covers I would love to see that with limes too from the last cup of coffee the first taste of Li liberty so yeah a lot of wonderful things mentioned here and yes it was lily pichu's song um of course i only played snippets of it because of just the way fair use works i am not just playing all of it i'm just playing little snippets here and there so you guys can hear it and then you guys can see what's going on in the video stuff today we're going with tora uh which is you know who if you know then you know uh they're talking about the situation of taiga and the situation that uh, Taiga's going through and all the things that they have been talking about. They're saying here, even if I got everything back right now, my mental health is just so utterly destroyed. This community is effing disgusting. This was on August 8th. This was yesterday. Like y'all pretend to care about people so much until it's someone you don't like. Then you have no issue bullying them into blank. Twitter freaks continue virtually signaling their way into having some semblance of a career until the exact moment a real person needs some real help. It's effing pathetic. Person says, I noticed a pattern of recognition within the community. Sad to say, the majority are big, opportunistic, and will throw anyone they know under the bus for a small boost for their platform. I have experienced that myself. A former friend of four years did this to me. In order to boost themselves up, they threw me under the bus. They made a Google Doc about me, and they threw me under the bus for tiny ass things to make themselves grow and me die in my community. Um, competition mindset, the extent of extreme lengths is absolutely disgusting. I get it. Haas, a lot of people are that way on the platform. Kind of sad when you think about it. 100% uh, correct. I also recently left the VTuber community, even though I was just a fan. It's the exact reason why you uh, curate those posts you read. This doom scrolling isn't going to help. 
Stop trying to think of the VTuber community as a monolithic thing. Build your community, your place in the world, and make it what you want it to be. Ignore those who try to tear it down. And yes, those are good things to have because the VTuber community, unfortunately, while they have people like myself that try to push it up with my showcase and other things like that, if you have people like the person who try to drop me down, that just take it as a competition and just take it as, you know, something negative. I don't want to ever see it as something negative. Uh, they said, I just want to be left alone. They said, you have 13 effing hours to respond. Uh, Taiga must react to the Jocko YouTube vid. For example, the first minutes of my video, Evolution of Jocko's Legendary Groove. I am a jazz expert, and that's why I'm here. My favorite hobby is seeing people have fun being shocked by the base of doom. I know Taiga is a music fe is, is, it, is at a music festival, but you must give me your word in the meantime. Uh, if you don't respond tonight, I will begin reporting the Twitch channel. What the ever-loving heck is going on here? This is another stalker, I guess. My vid I mean, this is what I, I see it as. This is an unhinged person, in my opinion. Again, just an opinion from a squirrel. This, this person seems very unhinged with the way they're treating this whole thing. My video is crafted to be extremely groovy, and I don't think Taiga looked at Jocko yet, but nothing matters. Twitch doesn't look at reports anyways. Okay, fine. Taiga can just play Israel 1995 Gary Wilde. Will this base? Promise you will ask. Uh, otherwise, I will finally start on. And that's when Taiga is saying, I just want to be left alone. Can't that be reported as blackmail? I just want to talk to him. Uh, the F is wrong with this person. They're mentally, you know, crazy. Dear Tiger or AKA Tiger's twin sister, I don't want to try to be formal in my messaging, but I'm also a fellow VTuber myself too. It's also harassed by a lot of people when I go to some sort of public games and stuff. So obviously you're not the only one. Hopefully, um, Taiga, please be safe. You know, hopefully they're safe for themselves. Hopefully they're safe for everything because that's what I want for Taiga. I want Taiga to be safe and be happy. Here's uh, Legal Mindset covering a couple of things going on in the whole Taiga universe. This person says, Legal Mindset gives a stance on the Taiga situation. Finally, someone isn't effing ignoring this. It's good. No matter who they are, when they're big uh, VTubers, YouTubers, whatever you want to call them, it's good for them to put more pressure on this whole thing because that makes it better for everybody. So just want to say my standard for most of that is to ignore those people, particularly when they seem to be really deranged when it comes to attention. Because in this case, this person seemed to have done most of this, frankly, because they didn't get their Oshi's attention, Yep, which is so fucked up. Can you think about, pause for a second, think about this. If you went out and said, if you don't respond to me and pay attention to me, I'm going to mass report your channel. How screwed up is that? That's the absolute worst. It's absolute nasty behavior. It is. It really and is. Yes. People say, isn't admitting that doing a crime? Sure it is. And they should also be kicked off the platforms, right? Not they should happen. also be banned from YouTube, Twitch, wherever else they were doing that. But beyond that, it could be a crime. The problem is, it's hard to figure out who that person is, where they are, where they live. And then, by the way, the person's got to dox themselves to file the police report off. So it, it's a, it can be a tough, it can be a real tough, be a real tough road. That's very true. And especially if you're an indie VTuber that doesn't have any support. One thing, once again, I'll say corporations, you may, you may not like them for a lot of things, but they do offer you some support. And this is the level of harassment that a corporation would protect you against. Like Hollow Life. Right? There's your pro con of corporations. Once again, everyone's like, Andrew's evil to corporations. Nope. Corporations are good at protecting you from that. I mean, as long as it's they not got a lot of downside, but they're usually pretty good at that. Because they try to protect their IP. That's what <clears throat> even Nidhi Sanji, not being the best one out there, uh, will try to protect their IP. If it's something that's going to go against their IP and make their IP look bad, they're going to go against it. They're going to cover it. They're going to be aggressive on it. They're going to do that kind of stuff. That's what's going to happen when their IP gets threatened. Absolutely. So that's one thing that corporations do. Uh, let's move on to the GoFundMe. This is at GoFundMe slash F as in fire uh, slash free taiga. This support Tigerholic's legal battle for her YouTube channel. It's already gotten the amount that they need for the retainer. This is what I'm guessing it is. I'm guessing this is the retainer fee that they have. It seems pretty low for the full fight, but I think it's a retainer fee so that they can go and do legal things on YouTube. My name is Jay Doe. I'm organizing a fundraiser on behalf of Tigerholic, a passionate and dedicated uh, VTuber whose channel has been unjustly taken down due to targeted harassment from a dedicated stalker. Individual has relentlessly pursued Taiga, resulting in the wrongful termination of her YouTube channel, which is deeply impacted by her livelihood, ability to connect with her community and mental health, as I have covered before. 
We are raising funds to cover the legal fees necessary to challenge the unjust decision. Our immediate goal is raise 15, 1600 to cover the cost of our current legal work. The entire amount will cover our expected legal fees as well as transfer fees. However, if further legal action is required, we may need to raise additional funds. Please understand, there is no guarantee this will be successful, but we cannot pursue YouTube without this funding because it's expensive. That's how the big companies get you. They make it too expensive for you to fight back. Tagaholic has always been a source of entertainment for people, and that's why they're doing, people are doing this. This is just a, a cover of, you know, things going on here. The anger, but if you, Taga, I like the anger, but if you can keep a fighting around it, uh, around it, it can be used against you. Breathe, yeah. I'm sorry. Sorry for getting mad. It's just like, he keeps lying, man. He keeps, like, jumping back and forth. He's like, oh, well, he's not a pedophile or a groomer, and I totally fucking lied, but I can't exonerate him on the things I lied about because he was interested in a 17 year old as a 19 year old but only like not really anyway and you know I put Lolly in my middle it's just it's fucking it's it's insane like Nux did you think this was good did you think this made you look good let's see what the chat thinks he can be a politician yeah but how else is he going to get people on his side again from shitting on Twitter enemy number one yeah you fucked up but you also addressed that fuck up like wow look at all look at all this look at all this support. look at all the people interacting with glazing glazing Nux and here is a little bit further uh, going further into everything, um, let's let's hear more of what Taiga has to say. Just to let him get away with this shit, man. We can talk about the uh, Bungo Taiga thing, because that's what everyone's coming at me for. And basically, there's this VTuber Bungo Taiga that got banned on YouTube, <coughs> uh, and people are trying to blame me for it. No, also no trying one's trying to, to blame you for the ban, Nux. If you actually looked at the situation, you'd see what they're kind of blaming you for. And it's kind of just years of not taking accountability. Um, apparently Bungo Taiga on his streams for like the last year has been saying that I, I never apologized for wronging him and- I never said he didn't apologize. I explicitly gave the, the method to which he did apologize, which was a private apology in DMs. A private apology doesn't counteract the 350,000 people plus Moist Critical, the biggest YouTuber on the platform by some standards uh, that you slandered me to. In a nutshell, I fucked up two years ago. I okay. made a video with Moist Critical where I, I said that, I don't know the full story, but apparently he's a and uh, he came back proving that he wasn't a and I apologized for it multiple times since then, but... When he says he apologized multiple times, it's not true. He apologized to me, like, once in DMs. Maybe, like, I, I mean, I guess if you count, like, saying sorry multiple times in the DMs. And by the way, I think, like, I need to harp on the Moist Critical part, right? Because, like, I, I think it's worth mentioning. Because when you see someone like Moist Critical Charlie in the fucking video, you look at that and you, you think, oh, shit, you've got this guy, you've got the biggest fucking YouTuber on the goddamn platform on the stream. That adds weight to what you're saying. And that's true. It adds weight to what you're saying. I only got the audio on that part. I apologize. I wasn't able to get the actual video on that part. That's why we were stuck on this one here while I'm reading, while I was listening to the audio. Um, that's the thing. That is the thing. Um, when you have saying that to hundreds of thousands of people, there's certain responsibility you have as a YouTuber, especially as a larger YouTuber. Uh, Charlie's not to blame at this. Uh, Charlie didn't even have any idea what was going on with Taiga, but Nux did. And that's a certain responsibility that Nux has to this whole situation. And that is what I'm trying to get at. It's everyone has responsibilities when they put things out. That's why when I say it's drama, it's drama. When it's rumors, it's rumors. I try to put it out there because I try to be responsible in my reporting as well. People will say what they want to say about me, that I'm a drama merchant, etc. I still seem to have, you know, I try to have as much ethics and morals as possible. If there's something I need to correct, I will correct it. I will not try to blame the person that I went against for the for having to do any corrections. I will not blame their community for having to do corrections. If I have to do a correction, I will do a correction. That is not the way to do things, Nux. And this is not the way to go after this you should have just been like hey i'll apologize once again in front of everybody i will apologize to everyone here this is this is what i'm apologizing for and i really do feel bad for this whole situation i wish i didn't do it and i'm sorry to this person this this and that that would go further than you going and doing a private apology a lot of times when you do private apologies like this my opinion only it is because you don't want to go against your community and you want it to be on the hush hush you want to still be able to say what you said and be fine with saying what you said and have that out there and be still quote unquote apologetic. That's how it feels to me. And I call out people just like when I get called out, I'm fine being called out. I'll call out people for uh, things that I feel that they didn't do right on the right way. And this is one of them, unfortunately. A little thing going on when it came to mythos of... Uh, Hades of Mythos is hosting VTuber Jeopardy or did host a VTuber Jeopardy with Cottontail VA. Let's take a look at a little bit of what's going on. It's, you know, some funny stuff, some good First stuff. First episode of Who's That VTuber today. I, I like, I like the, the, the stuff here. Special bunny guests, Roy Keanu and Cottontail VA. So Let's go over some of the things. Yeah, so... Trey, I'm going to call you're wrong on this one. 
Yeah. Trey, we're gonna have a fucking talk outside. Danny's parking Talk like outside. Catch me outside. How about that? Call BS on this one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So then I will go catchphrases 400. So for 400, whose catchphrase yeah. is this? Yubi Yubi. Yubi Yubi. This is hard, dude. What the yeah. fuck? That's not hard at all. Out here. That's not hard at all. I like, listen, Cotton Eye out here. We just, we just, we struggle. It's Corone, <laughs> by the way. I don't yeah, know. Corone Corpo. from Hollow no, Gamers like in Hollow Life. Oh, I like Corpo. I don't know nothing, Corpo. <laughs> but I don't know anything about them. I just watched like from afar. <laughs> just watching from the. They didn't uh, get listen, it. Listen, they didn't get I have it. no Holy idea. You, you know what's gonna, would have been worse? Uh, I actually really wanted a category to be background music. UB. So here you go. It's Inigami you know I mean, Korone from Hollow Life. Yes. UB fingers as part I'm of her cultured swine. Oh, <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing, I'm just playing, of course. I'm just playing, of course. Not everyone has to be cultured. Not everyone is going to know everybody. The VTuber world is humongous. But this is a nice little meme thing going on. He allures Imi Biso, their pet rat, while they were doing ASMR, as we know. Uh, YouTube has been really against ASMR videos, especially VTuber ASMR videos. They always hits their nudity content policy. It always hits that weirdness. It's and then this one it says a lot about them more than uh more than uh, the VTuber that they are trying to stop because who in their right mind would think a rat a rat sniffing the the mic like what's going to be shown here is going to be in any way anything other than a rat sniffing a mic. Again, sniffing. That's it. This, this got them in trouble. As they're saying down here, wait, what, for real? Yep, she got a human to review it and they still wouldn't do undo the ban. Stupid sexy rat, YouTube 2024. ASMR, dumbass YouTube, Futa GF visit script. Uh, well, we can guess her next video, I guess. Of all the things, the rat, exactly. And here's what she has to say about it. Here's, you know, the, the full video that I showed. This was the content strike that happened. The first strike, it is going supposedly against that for publishing content. They are restricted from publishing content, any content for two weeks, 14 days. That is a killer for any channel because if you don't post content continuously, you are, are destroyed in the algorithm. Uh, Imibisu here to help. Looks like you haven't appealed the strike yet. She actually went and appealed it. And uh, appreciate that info. Best to wait until you hear back from our policy team. Appeal was rejected. Is there anything that can be done here? They said uh, recommend submitting the appeal form again. This time include more details and any context explaining why you think the channel was terminated. Or in this case, the video was terminated incorrectly. It was terminated incorrectly because it's a freaking rat. It's not anything crazy. It's not like she's using... Her cooch is a freaking, uh, you know, squeaky toy or anything like that. They understand how this could happen. YouTube, rat sniffing the mic. Is this porn? <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. Why YouTube must do this? I'm so sorry. Also, do not fear. I think hopefully, uh, you know, things are uh, going to be better. It's just the ASMR thing. ASMR really gets hit hard by YouTube. I don't get it. I don't think there are a lot of people who do actually get this, but it is what it is. Doki is talking about a moment where she was the third wheel of a supposed date, or at least it seemed like a date, and the guy fumbled it. He fumbled the ball. He fumbled the bag. That's kind of the same thing I would do. Honestly, I would most likely fumble it when it comes to, uh, you know, talking to uh, the ladies. I'm not the best either. So let's see what she says. I feel really bad for... <laughs> <laughs> for salt pour one out for salt because he went fucking viral <laughs> he did he went viral i didn't expect that to happen in like overnight from one single like pc stress test stream like if my pc curse wasn't so <laughs> wasn't so bad we would never had this moment at all <laughs> this this like uh, like one one of a million kind moment where everything has led to my boy salt getting rejected in sort of almost four thousand <laughs> That is a lot of people. Oh my god! Oh my goodness! Uh, I was like, apparently, what, I was looking at it and like, when I was like, Salt one of down. the clips has hit one million views. And I'm like, oh, pour one out for salt, man. <laughs>
<laughs> content gods are looking after you. I might have like a million PC issues, but at least I can still make content. <laughs> oh, I'm a third. Oh, there we go. on this date. Oh my god, her her fucking date is on console. Oh my god, so they can't even get on Discord. Sorry, I got a little distracted, but. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jesus Christ, I feel so awkward here. I feel like a third you wheel right now. Up one day with a 50 foot Ethernet cable. You kill her. You are spot. a bitch. <laughs> what the f? Bro, this guy is shooting his shot. On this map's weird too. Like, I don't know what to talk about because I'm a fucking. Who asked? I have the bruiser off of you, and I have the bruiser off of this arc. Oh! They're doing playful flirting right now, and they're like, ah, who asked? <laughs> yeah. A fucking gamer date right now. <laughs> this is like, I know, dude. Oh, bro! <laughs> right, 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 I'll type something out when they talk again. Are you and Peter still together? Yeah. <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh, that's what hurts. That hurts. That hurts. <laughs> oh, no. He got rejected right there. That's pour one out for salt. Pour one out for salt. The poor guy. The poor guy. He got hit hard with that one. Oh my God! I needed to. I needed to, to hit you right there. That's the. That's the viral clip that hit everywhere. Uh, pour one out for salt. Poor guy. We have a new group that uh, I wanted you guys to mention. Wanted to mention to you guys. STEM educational VTubers. These are VTubers that are doing things for education purposes. Things that are, you know, just about VTheorem applications. Join our group of educational STEM VTubers. You have people that are like the current members are the Neutrophil, uh, Phylumi channel, Phylum channel. You have uh, Saidere, who is a psychological researcher. Uh, turn magical girl. She wields the power of science to combat misinformation, make psychological content uh, in the form of journal club streams and edited VODs. This uh, neutrophil is a white blood cell. Neutrophils are white blood cells. Uh, looking to share short stories with little guys. Make cell and molecular biology content in the form of long animated videos, shorts, and journal club streams. Currently making the, the Mole Bio 101 series for the, those who want the flavor of the best the biology has to offer. Uh, Nep Twitch, we have Carnivorous Pitcher Plant animated for Magical Bog, uses a green thumb to educate the world about beauty and science of horticulture on stream. VTubing has a medium for education and has great potential. We want to create a space for all of it, of course. And they say they're a band of indie VTubers that feature STEM education as a key component to our content. They debuted a couple months ago, and now they want to bring it to everyone else. And I am all for that because it's all about the science. It's all about science. Science is great. Uh, fighting misinformation is something I try to do. And fighting misinformation, this is a niche that I am not even sure anyone else covers other than them. It is great. It is great to actually create a niche because I know there are IRL, you know, flesh tubers, whatever you want to call them, that do science stuff. I'm not sure if there are any v very many VTubers that do this. Of course, if they put it out on virtual YouTubers, they're going to they're gonna get people watching and they're going to get people looking at this. So I hope that it goes well for them. For those who don't know, Iron Mouse is doing a reality TV show, reality Twitch show, whatever you want to call it, for flesh tubers or people who do not have a VTuber avatar who do already stream in the flesh to have um, a chance to become a VTuber. They get a model fully paid by her at the end of everything. Just announced it. Finally, I could talk about it. Holy sh I just tweeted right now. Uh, guys, I am, I am doing a show called Iron Mouse VTuber Academy. Uh, for those of you that uh, don't know, I just tweeted it right now. Uh, I'm putting on a show with Rubber Ross. I am putting on a Rubber show with Ross. Rubber Ross called Iron Mouse VTuber Academy. Basically, if you are a flesh personally trained, well, no, it's kind of like, it's going to be like a reality show, actually. Uh, so we're going to be doing each week, participants are going to compete in challenges. We're going to eliminate people. And at the end, the winner will have a custom VTuber model paid for by me. And they can debut the custom amazing. VTuber model uh, paid for by me. We've been we've been working on this show for quite some time. Uh, it's been in the works for months. I'm really excited that we can finally talk about it and we can finally uh, bring it to life. So the deadline for audition for auditioning. <laughs> the deadline for filling out the form and turning it in is on the 14th at 4 p.m. Produce 101 VTuber version? Yes! Kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of. But it, it should be really, really fun. We're gonna have the finale at uh, TwitchCon. There will be, we, it's gonna be a video series mostly, but the live finale will be at TwitchCon. So you will be seeing the live finale at the end at TwitchCon on stream. So you guys will be able to see it. So yeah, we're gonna have a uh, we're gonna have guest judges and mentors and stuff like that. So it should be it should be very very fun. It should be very very fun. So. How much time do I have to become a flesh tuber? I might need an extension. Mm, well, too bad you already have to have been a flesh tuber. Sorry about that. What if you're not even a streamer yet? You gotta be a streamer. Yeah. Well, I must be handing out roses. No, I'm gonna be doing you even better. I'm handing 
testing out of a free VTuber model to the winner. So that's the thing. That's amazing that, that Iron Mouse is doing that at all. Uh, this is a very creative thing, a very new novel idea that she can do thanks to Vishojo. Thanks to, well, the popularity that she has in the sense that she has a little bit more uh, income that she can use for things like this. I'm pretty sure Vishojo is actually helping out a lot with the production and all that kind of stuff. It might be like a hollow life thing where you can do your production. They can help you pay for it and then you pay them back in time. Either way, I think she does have a good amount of income, you know, because of the popularity she has. And that's why she does these things. These are amazing projects. It's going to pay her back in spades because she deserves it. She's such a sweet, uh, sweet, sweet uh, uh, Iron Mouse is a sweetheart. She's very sweet. So she deserves this. Connor is going to be a judge in the whole thing. Connor VA, uh, Sea Dog VA. He's going to be a judge in all this. And this is just going to be fun and good times for everybody. Welcome back, everybody, to the VTuber Showcase, the wonderful place that I try to give back to the community that has given so much to me. And in the way that I do it is showcasing all these wonderful VTubers out there. The hundreds of them that are out there, I try to get through them one by one, giving you an insight into each and every one of them. We have Kimani, the pastel clown VTuber, who's unique because it is a cotton candy clown girl. You can see them there. Uh, they are Happy Clown Week. Catch me streaming every day with my new VTuber Model 9 to 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at the Twitch channel that I'm going to show you here. They are streaming. They recently were streaming uh, 14 hours ago. Uh, they were streaming, according to this, Supermarket Simulator, but it is, you know, Elden Ring probably trying to catch up to the DLC. And right now I'm going to try to show you a little bit of themselves here. About, they have the stream most days, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Join my Discord for more updates and changes. I'm a clown that loves rollerblading and playing video games. I'm pretty much obsessed with carnivals and circus clowns and jesters. I am learning pole and serial and aerial fitness, which is holy crap. Pole dancing fitness and aerial fitness, that's a lot of upper body strength. That's a lot of core body strength. And of course, you know, having those muscles helps a lot. Have a little carnival of friends. Maybe you will join us one day on Discord. Uh, enjoy your stay. Also, please be nice to me and others so we can all have a fun time, which is, of course, what we all want. We're looking at their VOD channel here. Last time they uploaded was five months ago. But if you want to look at their VOD channel or the Kamari Clown, uh, you can go here. Let's take a look here. Well, there's that. I'm going to beat it. You guys ready? Okay. Um. So he's pretty hard. So there's that guy. I'm going to beat him. You guys ready? I like that. Kind of like that little sarcastic way of doing it. The little, little it is, it, it works perfectly with the character that they've chosen. Again, this is Kimari, as at least the way, Kimani, the way that I have uh, pronounced it. Apologize if I mispronounce it, but thank you for being a part of this VTuber showcase. And I hope that this showcase here helps you along in your journey. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.